Yeah, yeah, Alright, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna explain a new strategy which is called a scrapping strategy on the boom and crash. Alright, with this strategy, you can only drive the train. This doesn't work for spikes. So if you want to catch spikes, I'm going to work on how to catch spikes because some people are good in catching spikes while some are good in driving the train. But this specific video, it is for driving the train. Okay. And in order to drive a train, just one condition has to be made on this strategy. Okay. This is one of the easiest strategy so far okay just have to be patient on your one minute time frame and uh, drive the train this is how it works whenever you notice this line this blue line it's this 9 11 okay after it spikes you can always take five candles and exit your trade okay this is another spice, okay? It hit this 90 level. You can always take another five candles and exit your trade, okay? You cannot take another entry here because your condition will not fully made. So you have to look for another entry. This is not a perfect entry, okay? This is a perfect entry for you. After these spikes happen, it eats your 90 level then you can always take your five candles and exit your trade the reason why you cannot take more than five candles is because sometimes you know this is boom 500 and this is a downtrend market so sometimes the market could be in an uptrend whereby it contains a lot of spikes 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 so you can as well use this strategy why the market is in an uptrend that is why you could not take more than five candles all right let me check in this scenario by the market is in an uptrend and the spike is happening okay something like this this is an uptrend market okay but immediately your condition were made here this one you can take your five candle and exit the trade so if you are planning to take about 10 to 15 candles and this spike got you okay well you don't have to be panicked because if any spike should happen at this point it's called your sniper entry i believe you should know what i call sniper entry if you've been with me on my youtube channel okay the sniper entry is when you trying to take a candle and a spy catch you above this level okay all you have to do is just take another selling entry and still count five candles of your trade and exit that is what i call my sniper entry all right this is an uptrend right you can see even why the market is in an uptrend your condition will made here if you take your five candles here before this spike happen, you must have exit your trade. Another condition we have made here, okay? But at this point, you only have one, two, three, four, four candles. Let's say you are in the market on these two spikes. Called it. Please do not panic, okay? You take another selling entry here, okay? If you have enough equity, and these two spikes happen again, please take another selling entry, okay? All right, let's just do a quick survey here. We took our selling entry, right? Before these two spikes caught us, okay? And uh, we we'll take another selling entry here above this eye. You know, we've taken a selling entry here, taking another selling entry here. All right, so at the same time, from the beginning, after this whole lot of trend a whole lot of candles okay you're still gonna count your initial five candles complete this is where your five initial candle complete even before the spike 
okay you're gonna count it and join this candle that is a bonus for you okay you could imagine from this place to this place okay you can only take this option only if the spikes happen at this point all right i believe you understand what i'm talking about all right that is that for that i have a lot of entries here this is another entry after these spikes okay you can take your five candles this is your trade please do not be greedy why using this strategy you have a lot of entries on your boom and crash so let me check on the crash 500 this is crash 500 just like you know the opposite of boom is crash okay we're gonna be buying you can see this your first condition we are made here what happened is take your buying entry five candles boom this is another entry for you for instance this is where your first condition we made and uh, after three candles the spikes happen please take another buying entry and count out your five candles from this point to this point okay that is about eight candles you are going to take before you exit the street that is a bonus for you okay please remember only if the spikes happen at that point please do not be greedy here's another entry okay so let me check on from 1000 let me check on 1000 on how the strategy works okay this is uh from 1000 currently All right i think i should take a trade let me just take this this is where my condition made and after five candles i'm gonna exit this trade So let's wait on our five candles. I think I'm likely to call this video just to avoid, just to call the video long, okay? So when you stay five candle complete, I'll be back, fam. Okay, fam, this is the last candle for me now. So let's just count down the candles after the entry. We have one, two, three four five and this is the sixth candle forming so i'm gonna exit this trade now you can see i got about seven dollars this is just fast money you can exit your trade just close it one two you have to be scared you have nothing to be scared about this is just a trade i just took in your presence fam okay that is how it is this is boom 1000 that is just an example for you you can see this is another entry here okay if another spikes up on please take another entry here count out your five candies so your exit point should be around this point okay let me check on crash 1000 let's see what's going on there you can see i think i was in this market earlier i could also take this kind of entry you can see your, another condition we made here after five candles you exit your trade another this is another one here even before these spikes happen you must have exit your trade okay that is why i said you could not take more than five candles you can see this is another condition here this is another money here this is just a fast money fan no dwelling another money another money can see this is in a downtrend of course in a downtrend you can see it contains too much of spikes in a downtrend and you're figuring out your buying entry for crash this is another money here you can see this is look just like um okay even before this one two three four five you must have exit your trade before even before the spikes happen you must have exit your trade okay but let's say due to one reason or the other this spike caught you okay you just have to do something just place another buying entry at this point and still count out these same five candles and your exit point should be around this point 
okay that is how it is all right so let's go check on the settings for the strategy strategy only contains two indicator here i have the relative strength index and the stochastic all right what i'm just going to do now i'm going to delete this indicator and add them one after the other because of the newbies when they are adding this kind of indicator they are likely to have two windows on their chart if care is not taken all right the first indicator i'm having this called the relative strength index it is under the oscillator i have the relative strength in the level 90 50 10 5 and 95. I go back the period is one apply to close style you strip it so the color is brown you click on done and if you want to add your stochastic cause later you don't have to click on this main chart okay you have to click on indicator window one in order to add your stochastic that is why i had to delete this and start all over again so you click on indicator window one scroll down to oscillator click on stochastic oscillator the k period is 100 the period is one slow wind is one the price feed is close slash close method is simple the main star is two pixel the color is green and the signal pixel is four and the color is blue and it has no levels understood and when you're done with this you click on done all right if you have done all that so far your chart should look like this and the zoom level we are using is it the last zoom level or the second zoom level by pinching out your chart one time like this that is all for that all right thank you so much for watching this video if you find this content useful or you want more of this strategy or you want the second version of the strategy please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you find this video useful please do not forget to leave the thumbs up and drop your comment down below thank you until next time, I wish you a good luck and a good trading strategy.